When I was a kid, I, I mean, I, I was telling people the movie didn't flop because of me, because I saw it like three times. <laughs> I'm an 80s baby, so I, I loved it so much. Even after 20 years, it is the singular most requested musical stage adaptation of all of the Disney musical films. Ever since the movie just sort of crash landed at the box office, that, that a whole generation had quietly adopted this as their own. Disney came to me and, and, and said, look, we're gonna do a stock and amateur version of this. Um, just wanna let you know that. You don't have to do anything. We'll take the songs and we'll just kind of cobble it together because there's a big demand out there. And I said, oh, no, 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 this is mine. I wanna, if we're gonna do it, I wanna do it. And it was really when, when Harvey Firestein said, I'd, you know, I'd be interested in getting involved in this, that, that sort of raised the stakes. Well, the question to me was, what were the ideas that I could pull out of it? What ideas could I put on it? And why had it become a cult classic? I think the new things that they've brought to the project are, are really cool and, and work so well. Write what you know, so they say. All I know is I don't know what to write or the right way to write it. This is big, lady, don't screw it up. This is not some little vaudeville I'm reviewing. It's, it's exciting and a little scary, and um, it's just you really get to use your creative juices um, because this, this character didn't exist, and you're really creating it from scratch. To me, Newsies is as American as the American Revolution, you know. It's the small guy having the right on his side and instead of taking the, the crap, finally standing up for himself. News is we open September 25th uh, at the Paper Mill Playhouse. I got nothing if I ain't.